In 2016, Starlin Castro set lofty expectations. A year later, he exceeded them and proved to be one of the best second basemen in the American League. Much like 2016, Castro came out of the gate fast in 2017. The slugger hit 352 in April, tagging five home runs, the most he's ever hit in the first month of a season. He became the first Yankees player in 10 seasons to tally one or more hits in at least 24 of the team's first 28 games. Castro hit well against everybody, but absolutely owned Baltimore pitching all season long including a massive shot in an epic comeback on April 28th. The Yankees had fought back from deficits of 9-1, to one, then 11-4, to four, when number 14 stepped up in the bottom of the ninth. That one is drilled deep to left field. There it goes. See ya. A tie game. The Yankees have come all the way back. It's 11-11. Overall, Castro hit 365 in 18 games against the Orioles, adding 18 runs and 17 RBI. Starland stayed hot through the next two months. He collected multiple hits in five consecutive games to begin May and scored a run in nine straight home games starting on May 26th. He also homered in three consecutive games for the first time in his career from June 9th to the 11th, all of which were Yankees wins. Despite a DL stint to finish off the season's first half, Castro received his fourth All-Star bid and first with the Yankees. It was also his first All-Star nod as a second baseman. After the midsummer break, Starlin only appeared in 13 games between July and August, but he returned with a vengeance. On August 27th, his third game back from the DL, he went four for four with two runs, a double, and an RBI in a 10-1 win over Seattle. Castro continued his hitting ways through September's playoff chase, collecting 28 hits with four home runs and 15 RBI in 25 games. His line down the right field line, there's a base hit going all the way to the wall. It is a bases clearing. Three run double by Starlin Astro. Starlin finished the 2017 campaign with a 300 average, the only Yankees hitter to reach that mark, and good enough for third in the American League among second basemen. He added 66 runs, 18 doubles, 16 home runs, and 63 RBI in 112 games. Castro was especially dangerous at home, hitting 323 at Yankee Stadium with 10 of his 16 bombs coming in the Bronx. Another benefit of Castro's bat in the lineup, he was matchup proof and clutch all season long. He batted 321 against lefties and 294 against righties. Tack on a 308 average with bases loaded and 21 two out RBI, he was a hitter that could be trusted in all situations. Swinging on 3 0 for a three run home run is Starlin Castro. In the field, Castro was equally dependable, notching just 11 errors, the second lowest total of his career. He also played a part in 46 double plays, most with shortstop Didi Gregorius. The duo formed one of the best middle infield combinations in all of baseball. The Yankees have found themselves a long-term answer at second base. Starlin Castro has not only flashed power at the plate, but he hits for average. He'll be 28 and in his prime at the start of next season, and he may be part of a dominant young core of Yankees players for years to come.